1993, two musical robo boys made the comedy musical duo Daft Punk. They and their robo bebop music would prove to change music and performing music forever. They made their first debut with their first album Homework in 1997 and then boom. Four years later you get Discovery. Absolute banger. Then fast forward another four years and you get human after all. Not quite as good, but very, very tonally different and just good nonetheless. And then Daft Punk said, screw you 2010, you're not funk enough for us. So they decided to make the soundtrack for Tron Legacy, which is pretty good. And then three years later, they made Random Access Memories, where they made some of their biggest hits and broke into the mainstream. Then they made some albums of their live concerts. You got Alive 1997, and then you got Wait For It, Alive 2007. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Alive 2017. No, wrong. There was never an Alive 2017. While many fan creations exist, no official concert and there will never be an official alive 2027 since Daft Punk is now no more but do not fret funky bunch for those who miss the daftness and the funkiness of Daft Punk before it was too late before they are now gone I have a musical tour for you without further ado here is my favorite Daft Punk album in song. for the masterpiece discovery. One more time. Boom, first track on the album and it's an absolute bop. It's, it's repetitive but at the same time so catchy. You just can't get it out of your head and it's just, it's just perfect dance music. Not a single word is said in this song, and there doesn't have to be. It's pure instrumental techno and rock bliss. Digital Love is your feel good love song, but with a twist. It's a Robo Man singing it. My goodness! What a, what a daft thing to do. This is a magnum opus of a song. They use like eight phrases, but it sounds so new. They keep it so fresh. It's just... It's really good. Crescent Dolls is like 
is like a, something you play at a rave, but not like a bad one where you like do drunk or something. But like a really, like a good one where you like, or where, where you just jamming, you know, you're just vibing. Yeah, it, it, I like I like this one. It, it's pretty nice. Oh snap! We must have reached the middle of the album where they dump all the songs they're not too sure are gonna be really good or just kind of okay. So it looks like it's it's the speed round. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Night vision. This one's this one's pretty good. It's it's very chill. It's very nice to fall asleep to. Uh, superheroes. Uh, up in the air. Up in the air. There. That's 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 about the whole experience. It's still it's still neat. They do good with it. Uh, High life. High life is really nice. It's a very good song. Oh, something about us. We're gonna have to skip that one. Voyager. I don't. I don't really remember how this one goes. It, it's. It's. It's okay. I'm sure. Uh, Virtus Quo. That's. A, that's a good one. Gonna, gonna have to come back to that one. Uh, short Circuit. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be honest. That's probably my least favorite song on this one. It's got like this bit crush thing to it, which I guess is cool. But eh, no. Face to face. Ooh. Ooh. That's. That's a good one. And then. Oh. oh that's. Oh. There's only one more. Oh crap! All right, all right, all right. Speed it on over. Let's 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 go back to the other ones we skipped. These two songs are super catchy. Feel super personal, even though they have that that robo voice. And most of all, they they feel like they're made for radio. I don't know if they were ever played in radio. This album is like two decades old by now. But like, come on now, come on now though. D -d -d these are some these are pretty good ones. As we approach the album's end, we get this very ominous keyboard solo of a song. It just keeps going. It's very enchanting. It's very, very soothing, but also very mysterious at the same time. This is top-notch Daft Punk. All good things must come to an end. But at the end of Daft Punk's album, they said, nah! We're gonna make a 10 minute song at the very end of the album. Too long. And there you have it, folks. That was my favorite Daft Punk album. But now, the duo. Parts. While they may have decided to retire, it does not mean that the funk has stopped funking. No. Far from that fact, my friends. Daft Punk and their music will provide much, much, much fuck. Until the day YouTube servers can no longer play the songs. So play on, my friends. And if you've never listened to the two Robo Boys, then you should. Use this video as an introduction into the most daft funk you've ever listened to. Before I go, you may have one more question for me. Because of course I am the scholar of Daft Punk and that question is, if Daft Punk is so good, why did they break up? Well, the answer is very simple and I have the <laughs> obvious and correct answer. Because the silver robot just freaking died! He exploded! <laughs> <laughs>